Hello, welcome to Steve Knows. So I want to clarify a few things, some good to knows, and hopefully some new things you were not aware of about the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S. So you know exactly what you're getting yourself in for. If you want more hands-on content, please check out the channel. I've got some content with me fiddling with the device. That came out wrong. You know what I'm talking about. There's also some unreleased game content, such as me talking about my impressions on Behemoth, Batman, and Metro. So the Quest 3S for the price point has honestly blown me away. I think it's blown many creators away. It's not really what we were expecting. Well, I'll save some of it for this video. So let's go over 10 things you maybe did not know about the Quest 3S. So did you know the Quest 3 was actually supposed to be the Quest 3S? So during a fireside chat, it was explained how Meta wanted to continue hitting the $300 price point for the next generation headset when the Quest 2 was initially out. But getting all of that tech in a way they wanted into a small package, it just was not possible back then. So they took a more premium approach until it was more feasible to push a budget-friendly device, hence the Quest 3 hitting 500, and now finally the 3S being available and bundled with a ton of stuff for just 300 or 290 in the UK. The second thing you probably didn't know is the best place to buy a Quest 3S or a 3 is through creator affiliates right now because you get an extra bonus for doing that. So with a headset purchase for the 3S, which is £290 or $300, you'll get Batman bundled with it, which is turning out to be a VR favourite for those that have played it early. You also get three months free MetaQuest Plus subscription, so you get access to a library of games and you get two more games every single month whilst you're subscribed. So you will have plenty to play while you're enjoying your new headset. And exclusive to the affiliates, I have links down below in the description, is you will also get a $30 store credit to spend on whatever you would like. Bringing the headset price down to 200 when you consider the costs of all those other extras. This is one of the best VR deals we have ever seen. And this bundle deal is also running until April 2025. That's loads of time. Number three, due to the Quest 3's release, the Quest 3 512 gigabyte is now over $150 less, which makes it the same price as the original Quest 3 base model. So I would avoid the mid-range 256 Quest 3S, try to get yourself the Quest 3 for the additional storage, higher resolution display, slightly wider field of view, smaller form factor, and pancake lenses. Also, if you want to get the Quest 3, the 128 gigabyte model right now, it's only £410 or $430 while stocks last. This model is going to be discontinued. And this headset is still bundled with the benefits I just spoke about. Number four, the headsets are nearly all accessory cross compatible. So you can use the same head straps, carry cases, active straps, except the open face interface. That is for the Quest 3 only, which gives you an open view of your surroundings whilst looking through the lenses, a bit like the Quest Pro was like. And the breathable insert is for the Quest 3S only, which is great for heat dissipation, but not for completely blocking out light because it's like a translucent material. And it's not the best when you're using Fresnel lenses because they've got etching on them. So the light bleed and etching, it catches light. It's a recipe for disaster, so be aware. Number five that is worthy of note is the compact carry case that is now available will not support aftermarket straps. I love how small the case is. It's incredible for travel, but you will need to take the default strap for it to fit. It's only going to handle the headset, the thong strap, the active straps for your controllers, and a charger. But it's better to have that thong strap than no VR, right? I know not all will agree to that, but I love the small form factor. Just a bit annoying you can't take a proper head strap with it. Number six, Meta also informed me that if you have a lens cover, such as a prescription add-on like Wave XR or Rock XR, they will be compatible with the Quest 3S. So if you've got the Quest 2 right now and you've got those lenses and you're wanting to upgrade to the Quest 3S, you'd be able to use those lenses without incurring an additional cost. This is not the case for the Quest 3. Number seven, the Quest 3S is 20% slimmer than the Quest 2 at 73.9 millimeters, but the Quest 3 is 30% slimmer at 62.3 millimeters. That's one centimeter less in depth and your face will feel the difference after hours of play. I assure you. Number eight, the Quest 3S is actually lighter than the Quest 3 by one gram. 
which is, I find that it's just such a fun fact. One stinking gram. Number nine, the Quest 3S is completely compatible with the Quest 2, Quest 3 gameplay libraries and backwards compatible to the previous generation of headsets as well. It is also the same chipset under the hood as the Quest 3, rocking a Snapdragon Gen 2 XR2 from Qualcomm. And it also has the same refresh rates. The Quest 3S actually has longer battery life than the Quest 3. The Quest 3 has a high resolution display at 25 PPT, which is 2064 by 2208 resolution. The Quest 3S is using the same resolution LCD as the Quest 2, a 20 PPD with 1832 by 1920 pixel display. It also uses Fresnel lenses like the Quest 2 does. The Quest 3 is rocking pancake lenses. Pancake lenses require a brighter output from the display, which in turn uses more power. So the reported numbers are Quest 3 expect 2.2 hours of gameplay and the Quest 3S expect 2.5 hours. That's an extra 15 to 20 minutes. Over 10% more playtime with the 3S. And I know that matters when the headset dies so quickly already. Something the Quest 3S has that the Quest 3 does not is an action button on the bottom of the device. So instead of double tapping the side of your headset, you will just press this action button to enable pass through mode or toggle the immersive mode again, which is VR, which I think I'd probably prefer sort of attempting to give myself a concussion to look through pass through. Hmm. If you have any more questions about this device, please comment down below and I will try and comment on them and answer them to ensure that you are fully aware, completely aware of what it is that you're purchasing. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Links are below if you're interested. Hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I've been in this VR space now for half a decade and that little click brings me closer to achieving a dream and helping me share VR even further. So guys, have a great week. Happy gaming. Good day.